So now we're going to measure the velocity of the river. Okay, we have this flow meter that we always transport in the red box for two reasons. You have a delicate propeller that you want to keep intact, um, and you also have two electronic pieces attached that you need to keep dry at all times. Okay, so I'm going to build the uh, propeller now. Um, I'm just putting these checker black and white pieces up together. Okay, and you'll notice how I'm keeping the impeller away from the water, but also away from any real damage. Um, just keep watching it. Okay. Finally, there I am. I have my impeller built. Once you plug it in to the back of the Geopax uh, counter, you'll see a zero come up, okay? And you've got three um, clicks on the side. So one click down will hold it there, and the next click down will start counting, all right? Um, to reset, click it up to the top, all right? You're going to do this three times across the river width. All right, so you need to work out what half of your river width is. Ours is 1.72, and then you need to work out a half of that again, which is 86. Um, so you're going to do it three times, a quarter of the way, half of the way, and three quarters of the way across the river. All right, you're going to measure it for 60 seconds, so your partner on the bank can have their stopwatch or their phone, um, and they're going to count down, and when they say, go, you'll click down and it will start counting how many times this impeller spins around, all right? And then the calculation you'll do back at school to work out feet per second. So I'm going to get into the riverbank carefully with my uh, propeller. So I'm now in the water. I'm going to measure 86 centimetres from the left bank and then I'm going to get the depth reading, which we had 24 centimetres to this point. And you want to put the propeller half way of the depth, so half of the depth, so for us 12 centimetres, okay? Uh, easily done by holding the impeller next to your tape measure and working out what 12 centimetres is and putting your hand and your thumb there, okay? So 86 centimetres from the left hand bank, is here, and then placing the propeller in to the flow. Now, something about where you're standing here, if you're standing behind, you might be causing a bit of blockage for the velocity, okay? Especially if you're standing up through the impeller, you are causing huge implications for the velocity, all right? So you want to be stood away and holding it back. Right? So I'm going to stand away from it and at 12 centimeters, when my partner says go, I'm going to put the counter down and it will start counting, okay? I'm going to reset that again. So one click down is still on zero, and three, two, one. So you'll see that uh, the counter is now uh, counting all of the times that the uh, impeller spins around. All right, you'll do this for 60 seconds, and then three, two, one, and just click once up, and it will go to your number, okay? Tell your partner on the bank what that number is. You'll then go to halfway, and then you'll go to three quarters of the way. Okay, and you'll do the same thing again. 